I'm excited to welcome in up and coming tennis star, Jess Hart. Jess, thanks for joining today. Thanks for having me. Um, so I've, I've been following you on Instagram for a while. Not only are you an amazing player, but your content that you pump out is, is super fun to watch. So it's, it's a pleasure to be on with you today to, to have some time to ask you a couple questions. So I'm, I'm super excited to dive right in. Yeah, go away. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm always curious to know, how did you get into tennis? Um, so when I was like five years old, the start of school, um, we got this leaflet home that they sent from school. And it was advertising the local club. Um, and at that point, like, I didn't really do any sport because I'd started like dancing and ballet, but I just didn't really get into anything. So we thought like, why don't we just like give it a go? So we went down and I had a few sessions there and I absolutely loved it. So we just kept going and going and then just been going strong since then. Nice. So, yeah. Very good. And it's not like, it doesn't sound like someone in your family, you know, played prior to you. I got into tennis because, you know, my parents played and then my older sister played, but it sounds like you just, you know, you, you picked it up and all of a sudden you loved it. Yes, yeah, so my mum and dad didn't play tennis. Um, dad played a bit of football. Mum didn't really do any sport. Um, so, like, it wasn't as if someone in my family was, like, inspiring me to get into it. It was just all, like, from chance, from that leaflet that came home. So, uh, but my little brother and sister now play too. So it's kind of like a little family thing now. Um, mum and dad started to play for a bit, but they don't really anymore. I just don't think it was their thing, but they like to watch. So yeah, and that's yeah. funny. Now that you have you, you said your younger brother and sister who play. Um, mm -hmm. Are you more in the teaching role and helping them, or do they think they can beat you yet? <laughs> well, my brother always says every single time we go on, I'm going to beat you this time. I'll beat you this time. This is the time that I'm going to beat you. Um, and he's ten now, so I don't really teach him because my coach teaches him as well. Um, so he's obviously got a coach, but then my little sister, she's only four um, and she can like, she can hit it. So me and my little brother help her a lot. Um, and like we play with her in the back garden and stuff like that. So that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's fun when, especially when it's a family affair, cause you can, mm -hmm. you know, you'll be able to see how, how good your sister gets. And yeah. You'll watch yeah. Her grow and you'll be, you know, you'll be in your twenties when she's still a teenager yeah. and you'll be like, wow, yeah. this Amazing. So that's super cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, one of the, the things I really wanted to ask you, you know, a big part of tennis and playing junior tennis is, you know, goal setting. So mm -hmm. I was curious to know what are some of your goals either this year and or for the future? Um, so for this year, we've got um, a few like just simple goals on improving certain shots and certain like techniques on like one of them's using my body more on my forehand to generate more like power on the forehand side. So that's like an example of one of them for like, um, like longer term goals out of the year. It's kind of, I've just moved up into a new age group bracket. So it's kind of try and get to a higher level in that age group and compete at the highest level that I can in that age group for this no. year. Very and cool. obviously we've had a slow start to the year due to the lockdown haven't been able to do any of the tournaments so we're just hoping to like get out of that and then get straight back into it absolutely absolutely yeah. and in the future like do you have goals of playing you know college tennis wta like or are you just more focused on right now just the process the day-to-day -day? well obviously i love the process of going through like it um and we have like thought about the future i would love to come to a university in america and play in america um for like a team but obviously that's still like i'm only 14 so that's still a good few years away so i've got a lot of time to think about it and I would, obviously i would love to play at a grand slam um play it like different play it on the pro tour but you know, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen between now and then. So just like enjoying it day by day and just see what happens. Yeah. yeah. And I, well said, well said, because I think things change, especially right now, so much on a day-to-day -day basis. Like one day you're in lockdown, the next day you're out, the next day you yeah. might be 
back in lockdown. So you're really just trying to enjoy the process. And yeah. as I gotten older, you know, when I was your age, to me, it was all about like, I want to do, I just want to win. Right. But yeah. I didn't really enjoy the process. And as I got older, I learned yeah. to enjoy the process. And I think you're well on your way to that. Also, if you're looking to come to the States and play in college, I have tons of friends who are coaches. Yeah. So let me know if I can be uh -huh. a this there. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the last thing I wanted to ask you, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's important, like you've learned a lot over your course of playing tennis. And I love yeah. hearing, you know, not only what you learn, but what advice would you give to someone who's, you know, looking to get into the sport and they have dreams of playing in college or playing pro? What would you say to them? Um, I'll say just like, first of all, enjoy being on court, enjoy your time on court and enjoy like learning all the basics. That's like something that I would love to be able to go back to when I was really little and just learn all the basics again, like like how to hit a forehand, how to hit a backhand. Um, so just enjoy like learning all the little things first. That's like something that you should really enjoy. And then don't get too caught up in results, especially if it's like your first few competitions, you're not going to be the best straight away. It's a long, long road, long journey. You just need to take it like step by step, competition by competition, and just enjoy the process a lot. Um, take advice from your coaches. Don't like go just ignoring what they're saying because every single thing that they tell you is going to help you become a better player. And if you want to be the best, then you're going to have to listen to everything that they say. And... Yeah, just en enjoy playing tennis, enjoy being like making new friends, enjoy meeting new people and visiting new places. Yeah, just <laughs> just enjoy what you do. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're wise beyond your years. And <laughs> always, um, I, I couldn't agree more. Like, you know, you got to focus not only on the process, but I think it's about having fun and, and yeah, then yeah. When you Definitely. pick your head up, seeing where you're at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially um, like, a really young age um it's just like really important to just not get caught up in who's winning and who's losing and stuff like that um i agree won't benefit you at all so. for sure and i think you have to learn like just how you win and you learn to win you have to learn to yeah. lose and it's yeah. it's gonna happen you know what i mean it's 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 bound to happen no one yeah. ever through anything without losing so you know I've seen players quit because they just couldn't handle losing because they never learned how to handle losing so I mean don't get tied up in the results take it day by day and and just oh, make cool. it fun. Oh. when I was in college I'll share a short story um our coach used to go around and ask us what were our goals for the day you know yeah. during the match and I, I said the same thing every time I have to ask him did I ever make a map but I always said that you know um I want to have fun that's all I want to do. If I'm having fun, then everything else is going to fall into place. If I'm not having fun, nothing's going to fall into place. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's not worth spending all your time doing something if you're not enjoying it. Like, it's not worth putting in all the hours and wanting to get all the results if you don't actually enjoy doing the sport in the first place. Um, I, have, I actually have a quote on my wall, like a framed one, which is all about, like, enjoying what you do and stuff. So, yeah. As long as you have that reminder, you're in good shape. One wild card question for you before I, before I let you go. Uh, who is your favorite tennis player of all time and why? Um, Roger Federer. Okay. Just because, like, whenever – I know he's probably everyone's favorite, but whenever I, when I first started watching tennis, he was always the person who I'd just be, like, drawn to watch every single time. Like, even when I was younger – I could have like the option of watching anyone. I would always pick him to watch because he's just like, I really like his mental attitude. Um, he doesn't really lose it a lot. He stays focused, stays calm between points. And then like, obviously it's like his backhand and his forehand and his servant, everything about him is just so like graceful. It's just amazing to watch. Um, I think he's definitely, I think he's the greatest of all time. <laughs> And yeah. everyone, anyone who argues against that, I'm like, no, don't argue. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good argument. We'll save that for uh, part two in, in two years yeah. when you know, you're getting ready to go to college or three years. Yes. To go to college. We'll have to <laughs> argue that because we'll have a lot more information at that time, too. But yeah, yeah. I, agree with you. I think Roger is 
he's great to watch. He plays yeah. so gracefully, even yeah. though he's 39 years old. And just to think that he's still out there doing what he does is, yeah. is amazing. It's so, incredible. Yeah. I think like not, not many like of the pros can get to that age and still be at the level that he's at. Yeah. And you know, when he played um is when he had his comeback the other week, I loved watching him. Like even though he lost in his second match, it was just great to see him playing again like, after he's had like a year off. Yeah. It's really good to see him playing again. Yeah. He looked like if he joins the doubles tour, maybe he can play another ten years. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I know, probably can. <laughs> yeah. lots uh, of different players. Well, again, Jess, thank you so much. Um, this was right. super fun. And yeah impressive how not only you have a good head on your shoulders but how you're just your outlook on tennis and and everything you do and you seem to be very positive because I know obviously being in lockdown as you mm -hmm. are for longer periods of time can be tough so yeah. I'm glad to hear that you're positive and I really enjoyed this can't wait for it to launch and it's going to be a it's going to be a hit yeah I really enjoyed it thanks for having me